Sick! Waiting. Swapping. Chat. Hello? Hello! Hey. We're here! <laughs> We're here! Hi! Guys, I don't really need to... I mean, you guys can introduce yourselves if you want. I don't think you really have to, but... Go for it. Go ahead. Oh, you start. I'm I'm Jaden. I'm not sure which camera to look at. It doesn't. There's right now or this one, if you want to look at that one. Okay. I'm Jaden. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's it. <laughs> yes. Uh, that's it. <laughs> I'm Jacob Alpharad. I make silly videos on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Jaden also does. I do do that. There's your introduction. <laughs> And They're we here. just like animals. We're they like animals. they like animals. They're here to meet a bunch of animals. They got here, not even on time. They got here early, guys. Mm -hmm. Big round of applause for them. Amazing, I think incredible. That is my biggest pride as a streamer, content creator, is just like being punctual. Yeah. I am punctual. It's the dream. It's the so bar nice. is low, but we we try to hit it. It's so <laughs> nice. It's so nice. Um, and this is a collab on my channel. Have we ever done a collab on my channel? Oh, I've done one other collab on my channel. Mm. So this is this is very special and very cool. Um, we're going to do the same as all the other collabs. If you guys have seen collabs before, we're going to start in here. I'm going to introduce you to reptiles and insects and teach you about them. And you're going to feed some of them. Yes. And then we're going to go outside and I'm going to give you a tour of the animal sanctuary. And you're going to feed some of them. That's and awesome. pet them. That I can't like wait. And learn about them. Jaden has birds. I do have birds. She knows birds. So that's exciting. And we're going to mm -hmm. meet the birds. And I don't really need to give you guys a rundown of this because this is my channel, but for you guys, I think I already said. Um, but okay, so all of the animals that we have here, they're rescued mm -hmm. from a bunch of different circumstances. So I'll, I'll tell okay. you about each of them as I bring them out. Um, they're all non-releasable, so they can't be released in the wild. They don't know how to survive on their own. Um, and then all of them are ambassadors for education to teach people about stuff. So we're going to start um, with gloves for you thank you Ooh, those are cool ones for you thank oh you. here you like the cool ones i can get oh nice there i just go. think that it's cool <laughs> orange on the inside i like that people are noticing your shirt jaden my zoro it's and pretty cool <laughs> i have i found a website this i found this on a targeted instagram ad yeah. and oh my god the website has so much i have uh, a shirt of gojo throwing up domain expansion next to tupac throwing up west side <laughs> awesome so shirt cool. awesome <laughs> shirt by the way i have no idea what he just said Okay, <laughs> we're putting on gloves because we're going to meet Georgie. They have already seen Georgie. He has been leaked, okay? But that's because he's right freaking here, and mm -hmm. he's really hard to miss. Okay, so the first ambassador we're meeting is Georgie. Uh, it's a big day for him because he's eating today. He does not eat every day. Um, he doesn't even eat every other day, actually. Oh, well. But big he's a big guy. Georgie. And really I think... controlled the room from when we, when we walked in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he owns this place. Whoa, look at this guy. <laughs> This is Georgie. Georgie. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's an African bullfrog. I feel like him and Jaden in particular are going to get along really well. I have so much respect for Georgie. Yeah, Jaden just really likes his vibes. You want to hold him? I do. Okay. I would love to hold him. Okay, put your so hands up. Man. Yeah. I think one thing yeah. Jaden and I had in common when we first <laughs> met was <laughs> Jaden's bird Ari and my cat Frazier yeah. also have very big man energy. Yeah. And Georgie's I think got big man he energy. He does have big man energy. I that love how he's thing. got like a little butt crack. You know, everybody mentions that. Everybody really likes Georgie's butt. Can you like see it? He does have a butt. A little butt crack. He actually poops like pretty I large I would like feces. to feel him. He's real really? squishy. I believe he it. He is squishy. I want to make sure. So, we don't like, <laughs> yeah, wanna, yeah, I don't want to. We don't know how to handle him. <laughs> Hi, Georgie. He's just back it up. <laughs> so the reason we're wearing gloves with him is because he's an amphibian, so he's mm -hmm. got semi-permeable skin. Mm. Um, in the wild, you know how I said he doesn't do that much. Yeah. Because yeah. you know, actually, he's pretty active oh, right now. We'll you can him put down. him down if you want. Um, he's pretty active right now, but in the wild, they'll stay buried for like ten months out of the year because oh, okay. they they have to be moist. And he's from Africa, um, so they'll come out during the rainy season. But when they're buried, they have to absorb oxygen through their skin, so they mm -hmm. have semi-permeable skin for that. But it's terrible for frogs because they absorb pollutants oh, through their skin man. too, um, and whatever's on our hands. So I used hand mm -hmm. sanitizer. Got to wear gloves so Jordy doesn't suck it up you know it doesn't absorb you doesn't absorb us <laughs> doesn't absorb what's on our hands he's um such a guy he's awesome dude he's so cool look at his little feet oh look at those strong legs is he like average sized or like <laughs> it's the second largest frog species in the world or like um, for his like species for though. his species honestly 
I've seen bigger ones. Mm-hmm. Well, I would say he's like he's medium average. sized. Yeah, nothing hmm. wrong. George. George! <laughs> Stay. Um, I've put him in his dish because it's <laughs> 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 because it's time for him to eat. Which one of you wants to feed him? I want to, but you I feel like you him. really want to. No, you should <laughs> feed him. You, if you want to, just say it. You can feed him. You go. You should go. You said you wanted to. Okay, I'll feed him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What do you think he eats? Food. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like worms and stuff? He, he will eat bugs, but mm-hmm. today he's eating something special. It's his favorite food. Ooh. It's not a bug. Okay. Is it a Cheerios. Game? Ooh, I like Cheerios. That would be delicious. I'm I'm doubling down on Cheerios. <laughs> no. Um oh. <laughs> it's it's a mouse. Oh, it's okay. Not alive. Um that actually makes sense. it's super super not alive. Uh we have to skin them mm-hmm. because oh, wow. he can get uh impacted if mm-hmm. he eats too much fur. So it's a skin mouse. Just so you know. So it's kind of it's a little yuck. I feel like the mouse emotes make me sad. <laughs> <laughs> no, stop putting mice. Okay, <laughs> he does eat mice like once once a week every other week. Um so I'm going to give you it, but it's kind of yuck. Okay. It's a skin fine. mouse. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Some people, I don't know. I've I've made the mistake of pulling it out on collabs before and I'm like, "Here, feed him his favorite food." That's and they're fair. like, "What the fuck is that? <laughs> what is this okay. skin mouse?" Okay. All right. All right. Okay. So you're going to feed him with tongs because okay. he doesn't have teeth, but he does have oh. bony protrusions that mm. hurt mm-hmm. a lot if he bites you. Um it's covered in calcium powder. Of course. Because it's good for him. Cuz it's good. Yeah, it's, it's good like for him. his Georgie Flintstones Wade. vitamin. Okay, chat, if you don't like looking at the mouse, don't look at it. Okay? Here you go. <laughs> okay, so you're going to hold it in front of George. Uh-huh. And then, you like, dangle it in front, man. and then he'll take it, and then you can let it go. Sometimes whoa, it takes a couple whoa. attempts. He, he jump scared me. He's, oh. Georgie is a, is a sit-and-wait predator. I He's see that. <laughs> looking at like a popsicle. <laughs> he, <laughs> in the wild, he... Come on. He sits and he waits come on, for the Georgie. food to come to him, and it really has to... Oh, he's, like, pissed you're, at me. You're, you're pissing him yeah. off, Jacob. <laughs> it's, it's right here, buddy. It's right. He's, he's just... He's he's so close, you guys. He's gonna... My thing <laughs> is, like... Do you need like... to make it more horizontal or something? You know, I've made the most... Okay, scary story. He's One so time close. I tried to do that, and I, like, held it like this for mm-hmm. him sideways, Did and he eat bit you? the shit out of my finger. Oh, oh. no. That's why we feed him just with tongs. Gotcha. <laughs> For me, I, I like get jump scared super easily. So I feel like every time he moves, I kind of jump and pull it away from him a little bit. He mm. is a scary guy. And I feel like he's, he's mad at me. He's looking at you. He's mad at me. He's like, you're making fun of me, aren't you? <laughs> you can do it, George. How dare you make fun of me, I Georgie? I close my eyes. I can't react to Georgie, it. Georgie, I believe in you. I feel like he feels silly now. <laughs> <laughs> He thinks he's like you've embarrassed me. He's embarrassed. <laughs> I feel like I get his vibe immediately, though. I think I, I get what Georgie's about. Yeah, he is. He is very Come strong. On, dude. He's like, I'm not hungry anymore. Jaden, <laughs> for my like, favorite what if snack. It, oh, it's n- it's a new one. Oh my god. <laughs> come on, come on, dude. How is he? You can't be behaving like this. <laughs> <laughs> Are you talking to the Brock or Jacob? <laughs> Both, I suppose. Chad, just wait. He's charging up. Okay, it just takes some time. All right. I didn't see him. His He's ultimate attack it. is is coming in. It's coming. <laughs> you guys want to know a crazy fact about frogs? Yeah. yeah. You know how pregnancy tests work nowadays? No, you, actually. Loosely. You pee on a stick. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Well, I knew that part. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? If you have a stick, <laughs> we have disposable pregnancy tests. We didn't used to have those. Come on. Um, they used to use frogs as pregnancy tests. Really? Oh, I didn't yeah. know that. Oh, oh, he oh, got you've it. Done oh it. He's you've done it. it. You've done it. Do you you've done it. Go? Yeah. Oh, oh, no. no. <laughs> He's like, this he is almost the, the toughest it. meal I've ever had. It fought back. Um... Oh, on, he dude. tried. Oh, oh my God, Georgie! Come on, Georgie! I'm making this so easy for you, Georgie. So they used to use frogs as pregnancy mm-hmm. tests. So yeah. they they brought frogs into the states from Africa, not these African clawed frogs. Um, and then they would take samples of women's urine. Oh my God, you've done it! Yay! Yay. Yum, Georgie! Delicious. See, look at his little teeth. He looks so proud. <laughs> He's so I've cute, won. Dude. He's so cute. Are you kidding me? The apex predator. Yes. Spaghetti time. Mm-hmm. Um, Slurp it up, Georgie. <laughs> <laughs> 
So they just take female urine and they would inject it into the back of clawed frogs. Like oh. inject the pee into the back of the frogs. And if the pregnancy hormone was present, then the frog would lay eggs. <gasps> oh. Yeah, so oh. that's how they used to do pregnancy tests. So they brought a bunch of frogs into the US for that. And then a bunch of those frogs got out and it spread this pathogen. So 33% of our amphibians worldwide are at risk right now uh, because of chytrid fungus. And that might be one of the origins of it. Um, so there's a, there's a big frog disease going around. Oh, wow. Yeah. So there's that. And also, again, their skin, super sensitive, right? That's why we're wearing gloves. So mm -hmm. don't litter. Chat. Because you'll soak it up. Yeah. Georgie himself. Chat, can we get a pod for not littering? <laughs> <laughs> Look at them. Good job. Georgie George. loves it when you don't litter, Chad. Georgie yeah. looks like a still image. <laughs> he looks like he's buffering constantly. He oh. Oh, good there job, go. buddy. Wow. He's amazing. Yippee. He's amazing. Good job, Georgie. Do you guys have any other questions about Georgie? I think he's about I think he's three. Three? Oh, he's, he's new to this really world. Hard how long to keep does, track? Is, how long is he supposed to live for? I want to say forty. Oh, wow. Is okay. it 25 like or 40? Yeah, it's like birds. I don't remember. Yeah, we're going to have Ari till he's like 30. Do you guys have questions 30? about his frame rate mm -hmm. is really low? Yeah. Uh, there actually, yeah, there is truth to that. Um, he processes much slower than we do. So we probably move in like like the flash. Mm -hmm. Really? Wait, him. that's cool. Yeah. So if I went like, he's like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> 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 How would you do that? It's probably what just happened. <laughs> Um, if you lick his skin, do you get high? No, uh, but there are frogs that produce hallucinogens naturally. Mm -hmm. Colorado River Toad, actually. Um, and if you lick them, you can get high. Mm. It's, a, it's a hallucinogen. So. How fatal is it? Is it just like, just a hallucinogen? Or is it just a good time? Yeah. <laughs> I think it's just a hallucinogen. I don't think uh, anyone's died. I don't know that you could overdose on, on the frog? frog. I don't think so. I don't know, though. Someone so. has. Yeah, don't think? don't underestimate the human race. They could die to licking a toad or a frog. George, this everybody, guy's awesome. I'm a Georgie fan. Everybody say goodbye to Georgie. He had oh. his meal. Now he's gonna go sit in the same spot for a week. He's got to work hard to digest that mouse. Yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. I'll take one for the team. That's what I want to see. <laughs> okay, George. I got a frog licker in chat. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> no, you guys can take your gloves off. If you want, and I'll take this. Um, okay. Next ambassador. Ooh, you're going to be excited. Oh, I can't it wait. A, it's a reptile. <gasps> is it a skink? He guessed it so fast. <laughs> I always ask people to guess, and they don't know. But yes, it's a skink. All right, you can put your gloves yes. in there. I'm going to go oh. get him. I love skinks. Can One you guess day what I kind of skink? One. I would lose my mind if you guessed I want a blue skink. tongue skink. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Is it a blue tongue skink? Is it really a blue tongue? Yeah. Oh my god, we went to a reptile convention and and you got so excited when you saw the It's the first time the I saw one skink. IRL. Yeah, no, I have a picture of you with it. Yeah, Jacob took a picture of me with the skink and he got a picture of like the tongue hitting his eye. And it was awesome. <gasps> Look at this guy. What's his name? Toaster Strudel. Toaster Strudel. <laughs> <laughs> this is Toast. You can hold him. Oh my god. So so toast. Blue tongue skin. Hello, oh, Toaster Strudel. It's an honor. I have never been with such reptile people. This is so <laughs> fun. This guy is so cool. Yeah, he's really cute. Hey, buddy. Toaster Strudel. <laughs> Look at his blue tongue, Jacob. I see it. <laughs> Toast came from a zoo in California. He was with uh, other skinks his age, and they ate his tail. No, so this I weird, was like, why yeah, the weird oh. bump Bumpy. is because it had to grow back because his siblings ate it. You guys see? You're a survivor. This He's a survivor. See how it's kind of wonky? Because we were saying earlier that, like, because we have cats, we have birds, and we yeah. really want to get uh, reptiles eventually. And I yeah. think Jaden is really big and wanting uh, a blue tongue skink. On skinks. Yeah. It's, it's imminent one day. It is imminent. <laughs> it <laughs> is <laughs> inevitable. Reptiles yeah, can be cool table. pets. I always tell people, um, just make sure they're captive bred because they yeah. still yeah. do. They still do a lot of wild catching. I heard they. That's all in trade. like Australia, right? Yeah, oh, the, yeah. God. This is an Australian lizard. Um, one of his favorite food in the wild is snails. <laughs> oh, that's cute. <laughs> Here, you could do one hand. Yeah, I'm trying for, like, to his back. He's, he's a long Jacob. guy, you know. Yeah, you just kind of gotta he's like. A, he's so <laughs> he awesome. Is. You can also put him down if you need to. You no, know, he's hanging. <laughs> 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 With his little claw. For I love camera. how tiny the the arms are. <gasps> You're gonna die. Okay. I'm just gonna look at this. I'm gonna let I him. was looking at those. Aren't those his? <laughs> yeah. His little gloves? <laughs> his gloves. <laughs> his gloves. It's from a shed. 
Chat, you want to see Toast gloves? They're a prized possession. Toast? The Toast gloves. Oh, look at him slither. Whoa, whoa, whoa buddy. Whoa, whoa, buddy. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> I'm just going to... The, the fingers. <laughs> you hear him like <laughs> chalkboard, <laughs> nail on the chalkboard, clawing as <laughs> you're pulling him back. <laughs> the little mittens. Toast is a blue tongue skink. Uh, he likes to eat snails in the wild. Mm -hmm. um, and I tell people, people that don't like snails are gardeners, right? Because they eat their plants. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So then they'll put pesticides on the snails, kill the snails with chemical pesticides. Then Toast eats the snails and eats the pesticides and then Toast dies. So look for natural alternatives uh, to pesticides if you guys can. Same with rodenticides. If you I use rat poison. I want toaster strudel to die. That's never. what I'm saying. Yeah. Why I would anybody like want that? If you have a snail problem, why not just get yourself just a skink? If yeah, and snail, then walk them around like a gun. Yeah. If you have a snail problem, just grow up. It's snails. <laughs> True. Just, just grow, just grow up. up. What the fuck are they going to do? <laughs> Toast is fast. These are your adult missile. problems that you're choosing. <laughs> you're wow, you're choosing so to fast. beef with snails. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing with rats uh, and other rodents. If you're using rat poison and a rat or a mouse eats that rat poison and then an owl eats that rat or mouse, then they get poisoned and they mm. die too. So oh, it's like transitive property. <laughs> Biomagnification. <laughs> Same thing. So, uh, try to use natural alternatives to so pesticides, rodenticides, where you can. Cause what would you recommend? I was just about to ask. You know, Buddy, he's there's moving. a bunch of different stuff for gardening. He People use, like, eggshells and cayenne mm -hmm. pepper, but it depends on oh, the pest you're trying delicious. to control. Um, Has an animal ever just, like, fully f flung themselves off the table? Not flung themselves off. I think we've dropped, like... A bug before. Oh, I would, okay. I would like to talk about some drama real oh. quick. I have a friend, uh, dearest friend, Adriana. Yeah. She is uh, part of r slash snails. So cute. <laughs> and oh. she told me about, there was once a thing in the r slash snail discord of Snailgate. <laughs> and there was a huge controversy. Snailgate? Yeah. I'm sure <laughs> okay. everyone knows the controversy of r slash snails. Because okay. there was one person in there who was like cooking escargot. And it was uh. like showing it off. <gasps> uh. Not in r slash like, snail. He would... He would he had his own snails and would then, no yeah in the humanity of it. yeah so wow. it became a huge controversy if like it was in ethical slash and, snails. yeah and there was drama there was like a civil war inside r slash snail <laughs> about the ethics of eating snails yeah and, like befriending them and the betrayal of it and huh. it was like a big deal in the snail community. I mean, I'm I'm getting riled up thinking yeah, about it. <laughs> I just love knowing that there's a snail community. R and that there's drama snail. inside And they it. were collapsing <laughs> to not war. only a year ago. Chat, it's time to go to war. You hear that? <laughs> we're going to war for the snails. Actually, fun side story. My brother used to collect snails when he was a kid. Like, mm -hmm. a, like when he was like Just six. like in a jar or something? Yeah, he would go outside and he'd put a bunch of them in a basket. And then he would go line them up on the sidewalk <laughs> and say they were going to war. That's so funny. He's he playing knew. chess with snails. <laughs> 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 they are going to war. <laughs> All right, guys. Toast. Has Bye, made some toast. friends. Goodbye, Toast. I'm your biggest fan, Toast. Actually, you might. I'm so cute. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, oh, look at his little my snaggle God. mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you love the snaggle mouths. I love it. Toast actually has mega fans here today. It's really exciting. We love you, I Toast. I wish I had, like, glow yes, sticks goodbye, for Did you pull out, like, perhaps the reptile we wanted to see the most? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I have more. It's all downhill from here. <laughs> no! We will not be impressed anymore. <laughs> We're not George guessing any other <laughs> Georgie and, and Toaster Strudel. That Yo, was is like... that Toaster Strudel emote? Whoa, that guy. Look at him. Chubby. What was, what was the what was the Pog Champ called before it was the Pog have... Champ? Was that Komodo Hype? Was that what it was? Komodo, Komodo Hype? Hype? Yeah. Thank you. Oh, that, those are good. <clears throat> That's good. I was just going to ask. I should have asked them. what Toaster Strudel's favorite activity is. Oh, okay. I wanted to learn so chillin'. much more. Chilling? Yeah, I think he, he, he's a chiller. Guys, you seem much more familiar with Toaster Strudel. Is he, is he a chiller? Does he chill or do he be Eating, going? I believe it. Uh, oops. Oh, no. We moved in. Oh, no. She'll know. She's going to know. Like food puzzles. Food Ooh. puzzles? Wait, he's smart. He's a smart guy. He, he's a lounger. Got it. He likes doing his puzzle and chilling. I mean, who doesn't? Who doesn't like to doing chill a little, and hug guests? A little traveler. Oh, I saw that. He he was he moving. was traveling. 
He wanted to see the sights. Absolute chiller. I believe it. <laughs> you have a legless lizard? I don't have any lizards. Unless you're talking to not okay, me. Okay, sorry. I, I assume <laughs> not you. <laughs> Next friend. Ooh. Patchy. Patchy. Wait, she's only got one eye? That's why her name's Patchy. Patchy. Uh -huh. <laughs> what happened in Patchy's past lives? So Patchy... A was warrior. life of crime. <laughs> a survivor. <laughs> Patchy was bred for color for the pet trade. Mm -hmm. oh. um, and when you breed for color, sometimes um, you get genetic defects. So she was born with one eye. Oh, she's so soft. Yeah. And then, uh, Patchy, hello. <laughs> You're like, in a <laughs> knot. Um, so then they couldn't sell her to pet stores. Mm -hmm. And that's how we got Patchy. Um, this is a ball python. Mm -hmm. And... Yeah, was was born with one eye. They're called ball pythons because when they get scared, they curl up into a ball. Mm -hmm. Which, honestly, is not a very good defense. Especially <laughs> not a good defense for poachers. Um, because they'll go out into the wild and then find ball pythons, and they're so easy to and just And then you can up. play basketball yeah, with they, them. Well, <laughs> <laughs> they, they pick them up and they, uh, yeah, and they ship Do them to the US. Do a little dribble. <laughs> big, big snake trade. Yeah, it's actually crazy that we had a different ball python mm -hmm. uh, when we started that came from LAX. Mm -hmm. There were oh. a couple hundred babies a that pilot. were shipped in PVC pipe uh -huh. uh, through LAX to put into the pet trade circuit. <laughs> um, I had a friend in like middle school who mm -hmm. was like fiending the, the stocks of the pet trade. Mm -hmm. And I was like, looking back, why? Yeah, isn't it like... He convinced, like, his whole parents to let him turn the garage into, like, just housing reptiles. That's and pretty but, I mean, reptiles go for a lot of money, though. Yeah, no, he was yeah. rolling in it at, like, <laughs> age 14. <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah, people love all kinds of variations for, for ball pythons. They have, like, white ones with smiley faces on I've them now. I've seen those, yeah. yeah. We went um, to a reptile convention the, the other month, and yeah. it was awesome. They have a ton of stuff out there, um, and sometimes... The, it, you know, it goes too far, and then they have issues mm -hmm. like Patchy yeah. does. They it's can get neurological guy. issues to, like, too. Just watch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't even. I just assumed that you were fine holding the snake. Sorry, I didn't even ask you. I was just. Oh, like, it's okay. I can oh, hold anything. Is. Okay, cool. You're not. You're scared I don't of her. No, I feel like my mom is like traumatized of snakes. Uh -huh. So I feel like it's like generational. I feel like yeah, so she gave that she, shit to yeah, you. Yeah, she just made it sound much scarier than they are. Yeah. Like, I'm fine, but I don't know something in there. She's very soft. Though. Mom's also terrified of like motorcycles. Motorcycles. Oh. I yeah. mean, that one's a real one. That's, yeah, that's yeah. fair. No, that's people a real die one. much more to motorcycles than snakes. Yeah, more people are scared of snakes than they need to be, but that's like so so normal. Mm -hmm. um, this is not a venomous snake. Um, this is a, a constrictor. <laughs> oh yeah, imagine. Uh, <laughs> I would have been like, you know what? I might as well just hold a venomous snake. <laughs> She's a constrictor, but they can only eat things that are as big as the largest part of their body. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So like. She's not going to constrict a person. Mm -hmm. I think people are scared they're going to like wrap around your neck and like mm -hmm. choke you I out. But they, it's like, they, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's that's mine. fair. Honestly, you're right. That you definitely could. Um, but yeah, most snakes are. I think there's only seven percent of snake species, twenty percent that are venomous, um, out of all of them, and only seven percent that could actually kill you. Uh, and in the U.S., you are not going to die to a snake, um, especially because we have such good anti venoms. Um, like Arizona, right? There are rattlesnakes in Arizona, um, but, you know, I don't know. It just depends where you are. I guess in Brazil, there are a lot of scary snakes. Mm. In Belize, um, Asia. Apache is so cute. $430 dono. Thank you Whoa. so much. What the heck? Uh, I didn't know what they were talking about. I thought they were trying to buy Apache. No. <laughs> They're just starting their own auction. auction. <laughs> it's not for sale. <laughs> Can um, we get a 500? <laughs> you guys know why she's sticking her tongue out? That's because she doesn't want to be right? bought. Oh. She, <laughs> <laughs> Probably. She's smelling with her tongue. Oh, that was my second guess. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. They smell with their tongue, so they stick their tongue out. Hey, you guys can see. They stick their tongue out, catch particles on there, bring it back into their mouth, um, and that's how they smell. Kind of cool. She's got such a little dog snout. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then those holes on the side of her face too are heat sensing organs. Mm. Um, so that's how she senses heat, finds prey. Well, she's so cute. Look at Aww. her. Are you kidding me? Big patchy fan. Is she like? What are the downsides of her not having her other eyes? Is there any? Um, it may be slightly harder for her to eat. She eats. Here, hold her again. Yes. Um, she eats. We buy frozen thaw for her. I want to watch. Um. Yeah as well so it might be slightly harder but mm -hmm. otherwise she does okay luckily 
She's pretty cool. I think a lot of people also, surprisingly, actually, I've never thought this, but apparently some people think snakes are slimy. Mm. <laughs> um, they're not. Like she said, they're super soft. Did I think snakes were slimy? No, I don't think so. I think oh, no. those are just eels, right? Well, and eels super chill. Are slimy. Yeah. My my friend has a bunch of snakes. She mainly has oh, hog noses. Hog noses are so yeah, cute. Yeah, she got another one. She every oh. like couple months she has a new snake. Rest. I, I think she has a ball python too. Yeah, they're very very popular as pets. Doesn't make me want a snake. I'm I'm too much of a reptile fan. No, this is dangerous Patchy. for you. <laughs> we will get the skink one a day. Bracelet. I, I, we will. Hello the most bracelet. expensive snake bracelet. <laughs> Patchy! Amazing. Yippee! You guys want to see how big Patchy was when we first got her? Yes. Tiny like little? a tiny worm? Tiny I'm going to put her on the table. I'm going to show you the first shed we have from right, Patchy. Patchy oh, oh it's so there cute. Goes. It's in two pieces. No. <laughs> okay. This was Patchy's first shed. Oh, oh tiny. Little baby Patchy. Look so how tiny she do was. Do they like... You see? <laughs> so is it more that they get bigger or longer, or like both? Is that stupid? No. Okay. <laughs> no, they get <laughs> they get both bigger and longer. Patchy, can I do a comparison? I'm what a like stupid question! I mean, I was because I was thinking like, uh, it's okay. <laughs> you get the point. She was she tiny wants to thing, go this though. Way. I was thinking of like the snake, like the game, right? And I was like, they oh. get longer. Maybe that's what it's based on. It's no, they get like fatter too. I get that. No, that makes a lot more sense. Yeah. Pretty cute. Both is a good answer. Mm hmm Patchy shed. Amazing. How often does she shed? Um, it depends snake to snake. I think Patchy's shedding like a couple times a year. Oh, wow. Uh, but when we first got her, she was shedding more often than that. That makes sense because she's getting big. Girl. Yeah, because she was growing. And longer. She's a growing girl. Oh yeah, dear. and longer. <laughs> oh, no. No there Patchy. She no. No death wish for Patchy. <laughs> she wants the floor. <laughs> oh, my God. Patchy's huge. She is. And affected Dude, by gravity. Th I always think of her as being so small because she used to be like that. She's a big snake now. Yeah. Wow. Her head is so tiny compared to her thick thighs. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> it's, it's pretty amazing that the they thighs. can <laughs> swallow such large things. We, we have a cat named Tostada. Yeah. Tostada. And she, yeah, she's awesome. She's like That's so cute. zero brain cell creature. We love her dearly. Mm -hmm. uh, she is small. But yeah. her, like, she's obviously grown out of her kitten phase and more of like an, into a small cat. Yeah. But somehow her head has stayed the exact same size. She has That's a tiny incredible. little head. Very Are disproportionate. Her, does she have big cat. eyeballs? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, she, she like turns, Let me show she turns you. She turns the high beams on, and it's just perfect circle. It's the circle. high beams for sure. That's so funny. You sent the picture you're looking for to me. Yeah, there this it goes. This one. Oh, those are giant eyeballs. Can they can see? Can we show it to the... She looks terrified. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think that one can zoom. This one. Oh, my God. <laughs> she it's looks like that head. regularly. She sat on my desk looking like that, and I go, I got to take a picture. Because she's, like, right in front of my face, just staring <laughs> like that. And I, she... O she, underscore O, that's it. You got it. She... <laughs> okay. She basically just looked like that. I t take my phone out, put it right in front of her, bring out the camera app, take the picture. She looked out... She looked like that the whole entire she's time. She's also very polite, where, like, she doesn't like to get up on the bed without yeah. being invited yeah she will like sit, take Here's imagine another that, one <laughs> imagine that picture <laughs> she sits over the edge of the bed <laughs> just her you can only see her eyes and she just stares <laughs> until you invite her she's got a little rat nose too she does yeah she's a vampire <laughs> Ooh, i muted myself okay we're changing gears I have bugs now. Bugs. <gasps> Ooh. You guys like bugs? I'm a big Beatles fan. Okay. Wow. This is amazing. <laughs> Everyone's <gasps> usually screaming. Oh, are these isopods? Yeah. Um, so they're roly polies, basically. Roly polies. Look at them. They're cute. Look at them all. These are zebra isopods. My they, friend Kelsey has one. They look like zebras. You want to hold this? Yes, or hold I do. them. Um, I usually, Ooh, I use them crawling. as my gateway bug because not many people are scared of roly polies, uh, but we have a bunch of them this is like a mediterranean roly-poly mm. i was i vividly remember being in like kindergarten at recess and i just sat Babies. there <laughs> these guys were my friends i just sat there and watched <laughs> yeah them. they're your friends they're friends we their names are marty all of them all of them 
like everyone. Ma- are they take multiple Marty? Martys or Marty as a unit? <laughs> uh, they're all <laughs> like are they a Marty. collective? They're Marty? all Marty. Actually, I guess kind of both. Like this Ooh, is this Marty. Is complicated. Can I, I just want one. Thank you. Okay. I see chat saying Marty party. Yeah, it's a Marty party. So isopods are really cool. They're detritivores. Um, so they break down organic matter um, into soils that we can use to grow things. So they're very important to have in our soils, and they're very cute. Can you see his face? Wait, this is actually a good Marty angle. Marty, you're moving too fast. You're moving too fast. You're moving too fast. You're too fast. I agree. That's beautiful. (laughs) He's fast. Marty, the quickster. You want Marty? I would love a Marty. Me, 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 me. Beep, beep. Yeah, my friend Kelsey (laughs) has some of these isopods. I'd like to think this is... If he's being shown off, this is the King Marty. <laughs> yeah, this one's There's a hierarchy. special. Or at least he's the one that's oh. been prepped for. He's got I understand. <laughs> yeah, message received. Get away from me. <laughs> Why are they all called Marty? Um, because of the zebra in oh, Madagascar. Yeah. <laughs> They're zebra Marty. isopods. But they're all called, called Marty because uh, I can't tell them apart. Unfortunately. I like them all being Marty. The yeah. collective Marty. I like... The headcanon of this being a piece of Marty. <laughs> they're like, family. Like, together, they're Marty. They're family. Every guest goes home with a Marty? No. <laughs> They'll not be taking home a Marty. Um, but, yeah, they eat this special bug burger that they're eating right there. Bug I burger. saw. Oh, look at Marty munching. loves burgers. And then they get produce as well, so they'll eat lots of different types of fruits, veggies. Mm-hmm. Um, sweet potatoes, squashes, stuff like that. Okay, you guys are... Chill with the isopods. I'm going to bring out a bigger bug. Go for it. Okay. I'm ready. I'm going to start with one this time, though, not a whole colony. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I forgot Kelsey has those. Yeah, Thank you. I did, Kelsey. don't think I... Wait, did she get them at the reptile convention? Uh, No, she got Figgy at the reptile convention, which oh. is her, jump, her jumping spider. I just keep staring at Georgie. He's staring I'm back. I'm a huge fan. He's giving you a little bit of a side eye. I think he's pissed. I think we got beef, but you I respect him. You made him look bad. I did. I embarrassed him in front of everyone. <laughs> in the shadows, Mar- uh, Georgie. Okay. I don't know how many times bigger this bug is, but it's like really, I really big. I like that emote. I really like the Georgie emote a lot. <laughs> the reveal. This oh. is Barbara. 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 She's beautiful. Look at her little eyeballs. Whoa. She's so shy. She's she looks prehistoric. Hi. Hello. <laughs> hey, guys. Hi. Barbara is a Madagascar hissing cockroach. That was my guess. Was it? <laughs> yeah. Wow. I actually believe you. <laughs> it was. <laughs> really? That's so crazy. Okay. Um, yeah, this is one of the largest roach species in the world. This one's like really big. Not all of ours are this big. Mm. What is she named after? Uh, she has little barbs on her legs. Oh. oh. You see those? I see, yeah. Because uh, they're really... Here, guys, look at her barbs. Um, they're really good at climbing. They can climb glass. Like, Whoa, we have to put Vaseline cool. in their enclosure that's so they really, don't climb she's very up talented. the glass. You see the little barbs? That's really funny. <laughs> Amazing. And you see her little eyeballs? Those are her eyes. The little light reflecting off. She's looking <laughs> straight at you right now. Beady eyes. She's cute. She's waving. Um, this is also a detritivore. So beautiful woman she is. <laughs> That's very nice of you to say. I th- she's empowering. Would you like to hold her? I'm scared, but I would hold her. <laughs> okay. I would hold her too. Okay, you can go first. Okay. I've been holding Let's him try. all. Hello. Hey, go Barb. Make a friend today. So nice. <laughs> How is she? Yay, friends. She's hanging. She's a chiller. They're, They're so chillers. chill, right? They're so yeah. docile. Yeah, what are her tinier arms in the um, front? Just for feeling. Mm. Um, and then she's got mouth parts underneath. It's kind of hard to see, though. She's, like, patting you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> she's making herself look so small because she's all curled up. She's but nervous. They can be, like, three inches long. Ooh. Yeah. Wow. They're big, big guys. A lot of people don't like roaches because they associate them with dirty places, mm-hmm. right? And they're, like... I associate them with, like, nuclear explosions. <laughs> okay, yeah, that too. Yeah. Um, but what I say about roaches is, because they're detritivores, they go mm. around to clean stuff up, right? They, they mm. break down rotting things. So they're, at actu- they're actually there to fix it for like us, this, yes. The janitors of the exactly. world. Exactly, yeah, the firefighter example. <laughs> getting mad at roaches for being in a gross space is mm-hmm. like getting mad at a firefighter for being at the site of a fire. They didn't cause it, right? They're there to clean it up. Can so you, they're kind of cool. Myth bust 
the nuclear explosion thing and cockroaches for me? Yeah, um, they can actually withstand, I think, about 10 times the amount of radiation that we can, which Ooh. is incredible. But they can't survive the actual impact of a nuclear explosion. That's, that <laughs> makes, that sense. makes sense. So that c the, the myth comes from that they can withstand a lot of radiation. Yeah, mm. so put us in the radiation chamber. Yeah, and they, they outlive win. me every time by gotcha. a lot. Yeah, um, but put us both in a nuclear explosion right here, like mm -hmm. and none of us. Yeah, we're all. <laughs> that's the I next cockroach update. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. nobody makes it out. Unfortunately, Jaden, you want to hold her? I'll hold her. She's a little busy right now. She's, <laughs> ma'am. She's missing her other leg. Is that is she okay or like? She's tickly. Yeah. Just like th this part. Or maybe she no, just, just had it tucked. tucked. In, yeah. She just tucked it. She's just tucked. She's making my finger tingle. Yeah, she has a... Uh, it's those barbs. It feels kind of tickly. It is the Barbie. Yeah. She's busy vibing. What do you guys think of Barbara? Yes, She no? intimidates me, but I, uh, in a respectful way. <laughs> <laughs> she has respect for her big, beautiful size. Jane, I feel like I just saw one of the strangest chat messages. What? Of saying that, like, they were complimenting your tattoos, mm -hmm. but they were saying that you had to have gotten them with the Mr. Beast money. What? The Mr. Beast money? <laughs> I guess from, like, oh four you, years ago. <laughs> you, I've been saving them up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she yeah. is hanging on. Yeah, she's really on there. <laughs> I think it's just an interesting thing to think. You that, do like, one thing, and suddenly everyone, no one forgets. You, what happened? <laughs> Did you you won money from Mr. Beast? Yeah, yeah she did. She I was did in the a airsoft thing. Oh, like, back in I don't even know 2019, it was like the airsoft battle royale with yeah. all the other streamers and FPS players and yeah. like one team of loser animators. Yeah, and, and we, you won. We just won. That's so cool. I just so think cool. it's funny to think that like you won this thing in 2019 and, and you're you saved still it for using a the rainy money. day. How much money yeah. did you win? Uh, it well, we were a team of three, and we collectively won a hundred k. So we got Damn. like three thirty three thousand dollars each. Damn, yeah. Mr. Beast is cool. That's awesome. Oh, Jimmy, you won too early. If you won that now, that's like three hundred thirty. Yeah, oh, we we right. got him on the yeah. up. You and got up. chipped actually. <laughs> yeah, you caught him on the up and up. <laughs> oh my God, she's cute. Mr. Beast inflation. Well, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, I was thinking like the. the never mind. Let's go back to no, Barbara. It. <laughs> no, I was thinking like. <laughs> just, I think it's worse that no one commented on it. <laughs> I was like, so because Barbara. <laughs> Barb, do you have anything to say about We're Mr. Beast? We're not here to talk about inflation, <laughs> Mr. Beast. Barbara, do you have anything to say about <laughs> inflation or the current state of the U.S. economy? I think she said enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, with bugs, you don't want to cohabit with cockroaches because uh, some people are allergic to cockroaches. They yeah. can oh, really? carry disease. Yeah. Um, so you don't want to cohabit with them. Um, but generally speaking, I always say that they're just misunderstood. You know, everybody could afford to be a little nicer to bugs. What part of um, cockroaches are people allergic to? Little baby. Uh, they produce dust, and people oh, are literally allergic shit. to cockroach dust. I am dust. allergic to dust. Y yeah, you might be allergic yeah. to cockroaches. Who I mean, I'll find out. You're give her a we'll good see. sniff. We'll see. <laughs> just, just a big sniff of cockroach. Puff <laughs> yeah. of cockroach. You a frog licker or a roach sniffer? <laughs> oh, <ew. laughs> okay, I'm going to bring you one more bug. Everything is drugs, if you think about it. Yeah. If you try hard enough. I think most things could be because a lot of things are not meant to be consumed. Yeah. I guess drugs aren't have, like, just harmful. The Sharpie Huffer kid in like middle school. Yeah. C can you get high off that? Because I, I felt like it was just uh, yes. a. I don't thing. know. I feel like it's the That's same totally vein as like sniffing gasoline, you know, where yeah. it's like probably just only doing damage. Did you redo her zip Do we ties? got any gasoline sniffers in chat? Anyone like oddly like the smell of gasoline? I love the smell of gasoline. I love I the smell of gasoline. Like That's I what wish, I'm saying. I wish I could wear a little bottle on my neck. Yeah. Like a Whoa. necklace and Me? sniff it Me? All, all right. Day I long. knew I wasn't alone. Maybe that's more common. I love it. Than I thought. I love it. All right. I have another bug. Mm -hmm. um, as you can see, his name is Tortellini. Tortellini. He's a little smaller than Barbara, uh, but mm -hmm. will be the size of my hand big at in full spirit. size. And uh, he's very big in spirit. Mm -hmm. uh, you will not be handling today because he's a little bit too big in spirit. Okay. <laughs> This is Tortellini. 
<gasps> scorpion. Yeah, he's a baby emperor scorpion. Oh, wow. Um, so the big black scorpions, you see at reptile expos and stuff like that, mm-hmm. uh, that's him. So he'll get to be the size of my hand, um, oh. but it'll take like four we years. We were just talking about like baby scorpions like last night. Yeah. Really? That's so random. Because, well, she's from Arizona. Oh, you know yeah, scorpions? It was a reel of someone just touching a baby scorpion and getting stung. I was like, that's the Why worst. Why would you do that? That's the worst one to get stung by because the babies are like so much more dangerous dumb and stupid and they just give you all their venom this is an african scorpion oh so Um, he's chill uh yeah i guess i mean we don't have them here normally these are really popular in the pet trade because they're particularly docile tortellini Mm. though we have two of them puppy and tortellini (laughs) puppy is so super chill tortellini he's just not that chill like he's just a spicy spicy guy uh but he does have a cool trick that i want to show you um Show us the trick. We gotta turn the lights off, though. Oh, is oh. he glowing? Yeah. It's cool. Alexa, turn all the lights off. Yeah, some people already know. Uh, they do fluoresce under UV light. Dude, my my dad and my brother back in Arizona when we were kids, they used to go out at night and just, like, shine the black yeah. light just to look mm-hmm. for them. It is cool to do that at night with bugs. Um, Alexa, turn all the lights off. Sometimes she just doesn't. Today, she just doesn't feel like it, and that's fine. She's like, gl- <laughs> you can like kind of see it, even Ooh. though it's not that dark. Oh, she's beautiful, Oh, though. Alexa, not the scorpion. Okay. Oh, yeah. Sometimes he just doesn't feel like Sometimes it. Sometimes she doesn't glow. <laughs> no. Uh, he doesn't really have a choice whether or not he glows. <laughs> yeah, Alexa doesn't like listening. Look at him. Tortellini. Wow, He's cool. beautiful. The theory is that uh, they can see each other, or, mm. or they can see UV at night, oh. um, and that's how they find each other. Isn't that crazy? That's really cool. Lots of animals fluoresce under UV, actually. Uh, Owl wings fluoresce under UV. Oh, I didn't know that, actually. Uh, The younger ones, more than the older ones. But isn't that crazy? Here, you guys didn't really see him. I was showing the camera. Wild, right? Do be glowing. That's really blue. Actually, it's cool you can see. He's got a bunch of sets of eyes. He's got two on the top, so he's looking at us. Oh, I see. (laughs) Right now, they're so close together. It's a little doofy. I wonder if they can see that. I want to draw a little smile under him. Can you guys (laughs) see his eyes? No. They yeah, can see no. beyond our color spectrum. Mm. Oh, I got a myth. It. I tried. Oh, I don't know what colors they see in. Oh, um, I thought you were just like, no, like, that's not. No, I wasn't talking right. to you. Um, jumping spiders can, for sure. Like, um, can see way more colors than we that's can. So cool. Their vision is really incredible. Um, but you know how they have so many eyes, like a bunch of sets of eyes? Mm-hmm. The jumping mm-hmm. spiders, if you cover their side sets of eyes, they can't detect motion at all. Really? Yeah. Huh. Um, so they still see all these colors, but they're separated into different Interesting. Eyeballs. Yeah. Hmm. Super weird. Um, Alexa, turn all the lights on. I don't know that that's going to help because she didn't do anything. <laughs> okay. What did you guys think about the reptiles? What did you think about the bugs? I love the reptiles. The oh, bugs yeah. are also cool, I'm though. I'm still like a Georgie fan, I feel. Mm-hmm. Definitely the star of the show for me. Lots of Georgie yeah. fans out there. Yeah. Georgie. For good I, reason. I, I agree. Georgie's a good one. Who's I, your favorite? I have a bias towards Toaster the Strudel, though. The yeah. Skink. Also, mm-hmm. Toaster Strudel is just a good name. It really is. The Skink was their favorite. Amazing. Okay. Collectively, I'd say Skink, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Are you guys ready to go meet a Ge- bunch yeah. more yes, animals? All right. Absolutely. I'm going to put this guy back, and then we're going to swap over to the backpack. The backpack. This microphone is squeezing my head. It hurts. Oh, this one? Oh, okay. Is that thunder? What about this one? Yeah, can you hear me now? Can I think they're about... both on. 
Sorry, I'm saying we're going to the nutrition house. I'm going to introduce them to some smaller animals. Uh, and then we're going to switch and go outside. And see some bigger animals. But we need to, guys, I need everybody to pray that it stops raining. Pray that it stops raining. Right now. Put those, put those vibes out, please. Okay, ready? We're swapped. Cool. So we're on these mics now. Okay. Um, cool. And we'll go to the nutrition house. Hooray. Nutrition house. Rain, rain. Go away. I'm, a, I'm kind of a rain fan. I do enjoy I think it'd be good for them to have one, yeah. Not like a let's go outside kind of rain guy, but like a... Do you guys I want to see the chat as we're oh, going around? Oh, tiny pocket jet. Well, yeah, I Yo, strap it on hit? my wrist. That's a hit? Oh, and the wrist? Makes like you feel a, like, like Spider-Man. You know? Oh my god, thank you. Oh, like Go-Go Gadget chat. Yeah. Go-Go Gadget park champ. Oh no! Oh, I'm sorry, chat. <laughs> Thank you. They felt it too. They felt it. Look, they're screaming in pain in the chat. You no. can see it. You can feel it. You can feel their energy. Huh? I'm sorry, guys. Yeah. Did he text you? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. I'm sorry it's raining. I'm drop. Okay. You on your coat, Jaden? Uh, we're going back inside, right? Yeah. We're going inside right now. Oh, okay. I'm fine. I'm, I'm gonna. It's kind of nice, actually. It, it was is hot not in there. that bad. Gonna. Oh no, what have I done? Okay, I'm gonna do this. Oh no. <sighs> Hello. Can I do the. Ch I can't do the chinchillas right now. I can? Oh, right. Sorry, guys. Come on in. You're not allowed in. Knock first. Okay, um, welcome to the nutrition house. This is where we do all of our diet and nutrition prep for the animals. Um, I'm going to introduce you guys to the chinchillas right now. Chinchillas! There's a lot going on. Oh, we gotta put the chicken away first. I feel like I'd be so much more conscious of like how often I look at chat if I like had to like pull it up like a watch the whole time. Yeah. Because I feel like if they say something, they know I saw it. You yeah. know? I have no deniability. <laughs> Oh, nice. Chet, you're hurting my wrist. Cool. Uh, yeah, we see you. I know. Thank you. All right. So you guys ready? Yeah. I'm going to release them. <gasps> Releasing. Okay. Hello? The, pa the, the Pepe wheel. Jaden, can you put this collar down for me? Yeah. Thank you. Oh, there you go. Thank you. Hello. Can't you come out? Little guy. That's Snork. Snork? Snork? <laughs> hey, you guys want to give her? Oh, Snork. If you want to squat down here, you can. I'm a huge fan of. of Did she leave? She went of back. Miss in there. Snork. <laughs> Who is her friend? Moomin. Moomin. Oh, that's cute. Here you go. Do I, do I just. You can just. This? Yeah, that works too. It's a. Scrap? It's a dried pea. Oh, wait. I'll oh, give but you sorry. <laughs> Oh, it's Come so in. soft though. Would you like a dried pea? Think about it. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> She's so soft. Yeah, they're super soft. So the reason we have these actually is because. Why uh, snork? <laughs> Look how flat she is over there. Hey, you gotta give her that's dried carrot. Well, to teach people about the fur trade, it takes like 120 of these guys to make a fur coat. Oh dear. Um, so I don't like that. Yeah, back when fur was more popular, they mm -hmm. uh, almost wiped them out of the wild in Peru. Um, now they're protected and they're doing much better. You want it? Yeah. Carrot. But they're so small. Why can't we just be yeah, happy with not fur? Yeah, don't wear furs. Furs are bad. Why can't we just get along with these little guys? <laughs> what have they ever done to us? It's a big pee. What, ha what have they done to us? My, uh, Good are job, Snark. To pet? Uh, nothing that I know of. Yeah, you can like... try to touch her, but she'll probably leave. But just for you being able to feel her. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> That's so Good soft. Job. You gotta try this, Jacob. Yeah, you guys wanna swap positions here? Yeah, yeah. I wanna. Can... Oh! Oh, it's no, scary I'm man. Noise. I'm sorry. Come in, Snork. There she is. Let's touch her. I just want to. I know if people have chinchillas as pets. Like, what is. Oh are my they, god. Are they difficult to have as pets? Yeah, they definitely need a lot more space. 
That is um, the softest thing I've ever specialized touched. Specialized care than like a guinea pig or something. Mm -hmm. um, but these are domestic. Oh, okay. <laughs> these are domesticated versions of the wild chinchilla. Um, so they they have been bred for the pet trade for a long time. Here you go. Generally, I wouldn't recommend it. They're not very handleable. Yeah. You know, I get they, it. they move. I have birds. I never recommend birds. Yeah. <laughs> Peas and carrots and little pieces of flour. Oh, Maya, flour. I have a dream. What's okay? your dream? I, I want to hear your take on this. Okay. I want a pet raccoon. Snork. No. <laughs> mm -mm. But I really like them. Yeah. Um, raccoons are like, oh, hi. Can One I? of the worst that you could do. Oh. They're, they're so destructive. I they Don't shred. They, like, destroy walls and stuff. They'll destroy. Mm. Well, they'll like shred the meat off your calf. Like they're gnarly. Yeah, like separate them, but like. like no, off your of your calf. calf. Yeah, yeah, I get that. Like, <laughs> but what if he gets like? What if we find like a chill one? <laughs> no, they're not chill. I promise you. Are it, domesticated raccoons a myth? Uh, that, yeah, that's not a thing. Come here. here what go. about a chinchilla then? Yum. Hi, if I wanted a pet raccoon, what's like the next best thing? A cat. Okay, I did that already. <laughs> Three times. Maybe, you know, uh, maybe a ferret. Oh. Ferrets are legal in some states. They're, they're okay. I that have doesn't a scratch about, the same itch. What about a fl uh, sugar glider? Those guys are cute. They are cute. I don't think that they make very good pets either. Yeah. I just. Yeah, I just like that raccoons are just kind of like little guys. Well, they just jumped off the wall and did a little parkour. Okay. <laughs> Snark, you want to go back in? A little parkour Come chinchilla. Here. It went fling. Come here. Hey, oh. you, want, you can go volunteer like, at a local rescue that has raccoons? Yeah, so, that's true. Raccoons. Good, sold. Yeah, that's what I'll do. <laughs> that's a good middle ground. Good job, Chins. Amazing. Wow. Oh, I see. Little rat friend. Oh, little oh I rat love friend. rats. Rats are another animal that I want to have. Rats are cool, actually, yeah. You can do a ton with rats. You can train oh, them. Fuck raccoons, I they're guess. way more, uh, <laughs> they're way more handleable than chinchillas are. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, we have two of them. Connor's working on installing a camera in their enclosure, but um, this oh, is... Rats. This is Nilla Wafer. Nilla Wafer. Nilla Wafer. Come here. They can't see you. My cousin used to have a rat, and I Come love here. that thing. Yeah, she's cute. What are you doing? <laughs> rat. Oh, my goodness. Amazing. Rat. It's a rat. She's so cute. These were going to be snake food rats. No. Um, now they're not. Uh, but it's what I was saying earlier about rodenticide use, like rat poison. Mm. We have them to teach people about that. Yeah. Mm. And then Chips Ahoy is in here somewhere. Chips too. Ahoy. Oh, the, such good names. I'm Who's glad. naming these creatures? Uh, we named the rats. Chat named some of the animals here. Mm. That makes sense. As yeah. well. I like Nilla Wafer, and I'm glad they escaped being food. Being food, yeah. Yeah. I feel like Nilla Wafer versus <gasps> Chips Georgie. Chips Ahoy. Ooh. Chips Ahoy. I think Georgie clears. Here's Chips. <laughs> Chips. Hello. She bit my nail. Oh, they're just tiny puppies. Yeah, they're so cute. All right. This might be like a, an inappropriate question to ask, uh -huh. but do you think there's any animals that you have here that would be able to upset the food chain? Like, who are With who each can other? punch up? Like, yeah, we have snakes that would eat these. Is that what you mean? But like, they're supposed to eat them. Do you think there's anyone who can like pull an upset? Stompy? Like, like a rat that could fight the snake? Yeah. Oh, 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 oh the opposite way. Yeah. Um,
your backups now? Cool. I've heard that, that was such an interesting answer, though. The snakes, um, the the cliffhanger upsets. was <laughs> rats. Some people like we feed frozen thawed to our snakes. It's way safer because rats can really do damage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I believe it on on snakes. Um, I just can't believe they all got hit with such a cliffhanger. <laughs> what else? I feel like a rat. Well, Georgie wouldn't eat a rat, but one of these, if they wanted to, could definitely do some damage to Georgie. Mm. Well, really? Glass cannon, Georgie. It felt yeah. like he was just the impenetrable wall, though. Uh, the skin, though. Yeah. The, the gloves. Oh, yeah. I just, what I don't else? know. I just got a gas of Georgie. I just believe in him. There's like, well, we don't have squirrels or hawks, uh -huh. but squirrels will bite whole toes off hawks when they try to Ooh. eat them sometimes. That's all I got. You bite the food, the, fight, the food bites back. That's my answer to that question. Thank you. Thank I you. feel informed. Thank you. <laughs> um, all right, you guys want to see if the weather holds up? Yeah. yeah. Sorry about the F chatters. Um, let's go see some birds. Please. Shall we? All right. That's less you know, rainy now. I was like I the elevator pitch okay. to get Jaden out here. She <laughs> has birds. She likes birds. Oh, I love the birds. We do have birds. The birdie babies. Yeah, we effed because the stupid peepo unplugged it. It's not my fault. Okay. Okay. I'm so nervous about, like, a downpour just happening. Okay. Yeah, we have goats. Okay. Hopefully they stay in there because it's rainy. It's actually sick. What? Is it effed again? Oh. Technical difficulties. All good. You guys having fun? Are you guys having fun? I'm yeah. having a great time. Excellent. This is a great day for us. I just got to watch the time. Oh my god, we're so good. Yeah, mm -hmm. we yeah. got time. We're more than halfway through too. So, those plants are loving it. I bet. It's sick. Now the sun's kind of coming out now. The greatest of all time. That's an amazing view. Yeah, welcome to Texas. Except not Texas. I want the Twitch chat wristwatch yeah. always when I stream. I love this thing, I dude. Want, I want, it's like a watch, but I, I go, chat, what's the time? And it, it takes <laughs> like two minutes. Yeah. yeah. All things can be different. I think <laughs> this, uh, it humanizes me in a way, because I think like as a streamer, you have deniability if you see a message or not, if you want to oh, acknowledge it. Yeah. But I kind of like them knowing I'm ignoring <laughs> them. Like, nope, nothing it's fair. Good. It oh, humbles the them. Fix. No, it fucking isn't. But they also know that whatever mean thing they said in chat was read. So, it like, I feel like we both benefit from the act of reading it. That's valid. That's yeah. Cool. I just like it because it makes me feel like it's impossible. Yeah. yeah. Beep, beep, beep. Do, do, do. Or, or like Ben 10, where you go, do, do, do. yeah. Aren't you a Ben 10 hater? Yeah, I do hate Ben 10. Yeah, I was about to say, odd reference for you. A little fucking brat. Yeah. <laughs> I think Ben 10 was sick as hell. If I had the Omnitrix, oh my god, I would have done so, I would have been so much cooler. He just kept turning into the, the big ugly one, and I was like, stop. I think, now. like, in power scaling, though, I think Ben 10 is, like, stronger than most gods, right? <laughs> most gods? Most gods. I, I'm pretty sure that's true. I don't, just stop being the big ugly one, and I'll be happy. I Oh, all Lots the mics are off besides Jacobs? Awesome. Well, I'm just talking about Ben 10. <laughs> yeah, what was it? Spa oh, Alien X. That's what I was talking about. Maya's mic. What is, why is everything breaking today? What is going on? We never Don't have worry. Any I'll of these fill problems. the space. So, yeah. So, Alien X solos the whole Dragon Ball verse? I agree. <laughs> Wait, which one is the, the big square ugly one that looks like Meat Boy? Cannonball? Yeah. Fuck Cannonball. Or is it Cannonball? What's his name? He just he just turns into cannonball like every single episode. Must be the wire. Oh yes, all the wires bolt. on our wireless microphones. Cannonbolt. All right, we're going to cast strike because I don't want to there. I wanted to shove accelerate into lockers though. That dude deserved to get bullied. <laughs> Parrots. I have a friend of yours. You're going to have an eleven. An ally. An Seven ally, 11. if you will. Boo. What a nerd. Hello, parrots. Well, they have the double door system too. Oh, a jump scare! Oh yes, yes, we have yeah, we vestibule also have doors. Double doors. 
uh, because we have to. Mia! <laughs> so does, that, does the audio work? Yeah, they just said way too dank. I don't know what's happening. I think Space probably tried to reset them or something. <gasps> Bad oh, things are happening. Wow, Whoa! Look at them all. Uh, and this uh, guy. What do you win? Siren! You are we back? I don't know. Chat, can you hear us? I don't care anymore. Because <laughs> James is the only one not working. Should I check it? Did I click something? They said we are so back. You see what you're doing oh, no. now? When oh. I was a kid, I re I begged my mom. What for you doing? Specifically, a yellow nape to Amazon. Parent. Oh my god, there's so much. I what know. Mia. Doing? Oh hey, buddy. Hey, you want to give her a pistache or an almond? An almond. This is Mia. She's an African gray. She's a Congo African gray. African greys are so you pretty. You want? <laughs> Why are you, you looking can, at it like you that? You can look at it. You could take it. They're really smart, right? Super African smart. African greys. Yeah. yeah. Um, can have. Because they're Mia, they're vocabulary. The almond. <laughs> Do you want it? I know I'm a scary stranger. She doesn't want it. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> Hold okay, on. Okay, weird. <laughs> Do you want a uh, sunflower seed? What birds does Jaden have? Two conures, right? I've yeah. got a green okay? cheek and a, a crimson okay? belly. You got a big man and okay, a small she's being lady. Weird right now. <laughs> um, an ADHD. What lady. you doing? I don't have a pistache. So Mia is an African gray. These are endangered in the wild, partially because of the pet trade, because a lot of people think they want them. You know this better than anybody. Parrots yeah. are really hard to have as pets. They're super loud, can be super destructive, live like 60, 70 years, these guys. Um, so a lot of them end up at rescues like this. Uh, this is Siren. She's, <laughs> hello. she's beautiful. She's an African gray. Hi. Can you say hello? Wait, she's an hello. I'm sorry. She's a blue fronted Amazon. Ah. Can you say hello? Hello. This That's nice. Hello. I would have had an alternate universe. Yeah. You can give her the almond. almond. Would you like the almond? Almond? There you Hooray! Go. Yay! <laughs> Siren, she's laughing. Siren is more. You can earn it. I remember by the I time... I love the happy squeaks. <laughs> by the time I started getting, like bird reels and TikToks and stuff i was like look at the bird. look at what they say and you're like yeah they all do that <laughs> they, it's the uh, it's, it's the um, what you doing it's the ring necks they always say the same things what, what you doing yeah what doing what doing they are really cute um siren says a few things she likes singing happy birthday but she's a little busy right Aww. now eating an almond um mia Whistles makes a lot of really good sound effects, so like wild birds, microwave beeps, backup beepers, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Um, does less talking, though, than Siren does. Siren never shuts up. <laughs> She's got a lot to say. Did you eat your almond? No, you're still eating it. Okay. <laughs> and then we have two macaws. Macaws are scary. Macaws are a lot. Um, so this is nice. This is Miley. She's a Catalina macaw. Um, so a hybrid between a blue and gold and a scarlet she's macaw. Blue. Yeah, she's a gorgeous bird. And then that's Tico. She's a blue and gold macaw. Tico was um, left in a box outside of an SPCA. Oh, oh my God. And then Poor Miley thing. was a surrendered pet. Uh, but they've been together for uh, between five and ten years. Wow. Um, and they came from someone in California. Oh. Um, friends. So, Maya, oh, you're Mike. You guys, like, what? take in animals. What is going on? We only do a few a year. When gotcha. we first started, uh, we had like a bunch of acquisitions. I think we had like 10 in the first year or something. Mm. Um. Good now. I don't know why that's happening. It's never been a problem. We're having bad luck today. Uh, but yeah, I'm because... having a great time though. So. I'm glad. Yeah. yeah, who cares? Fuck you guys. Um, <laughs> if this. Uh, these as pets is crazy. Yeah, there was a blue and gold that. macaw in Florida that like ate a kid's finger at a restaurant. They I had like a it. yeah, they had like a parrot themed restaurant. He flew down there, took the kid's finger off, flew back to the person, like ate it. Wow, um, he's had enough. Yeah, and they <laughs> not this bird, but like oh, yeah, yeah. a blue and gold macaw. But he's capable. Capable and 130 decibels, which honestly, I bet Conyers are close because they're super <laughs> yeah. loud um but we have a decibel reader they've they maxed it out the first day we installed it oh um, that's so cool yeah they're super super yeah. loud i mean i'm around my birds and i get bit by those 
little fuckers oh all the time. God. And Can I'm like, imagine? I couldn't imagine this. I've one. never been bit by a macaw, but it's not. It would, it would ruin like your month, not just your day. Yeah, I feel like it just goes straight to bone. It ruined my want? perception of birds. For you. Yeah. For you. Very like, strong beaks on these guys mm -hmm. to Big break ass open beaks. nuts. <laughs> Big ass beak. That was nice, Mia. Oh, now she wants There's to talk. more. <laughs> she doesn't like the mic. <laughs> I'm scared she's gonna <laughs> grab the mic for me. Anyway. Chomp it. So, yeah, macaws are super beautiful. Uh, people think they're beautiful and cool because of pirates, and they're like, oh, I'll just have one for my shoulder, and mm -hmm. it'll sing and dance. Um, don't, just don't, just don't. Like, yeah. just don't get a macaw. It, 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 it's not a good idea. Huh. Too much. You're too much. Um, so yeah. Not so fun fact about macaws. <laughs> People always associate them with pirates, and everyone's mm -hmm. like, oh, it's because pirates and macaws are best friends. Um, I didn't realize this until recently, but pirates were smuggling them from the old world that, to the yeah. new world. Yeah, they were like huh. capturing them out of the wild and bringing them over to the new world. They weren't to... friendly pets, they were being taken. They were being taken, <laughs> yeah. Kidnapping. Um, that's a That's, fun little historical rewrite. It's interesting, yeah, yeah, to think about. But yeah, parrots have been exploited for the pet trade for a very, very long time. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, and they are pair bonded, and they're both female. Aw, they're a little, they're a little les <laughs> lesbian lovers. Except they don't, you know, whatever. They're pair bonded. What a beautiful coat on both. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tika's had some plucking issues uh, throughout her life. Um, oh, has been better since she's been here. We still deal with it a little bit here and there. Mm -hmm. um, but we try to give them lots of space and lots of enrichment. And Yeah, it's nice they can just go inside. Too. They have uh, heated rooms oh, in there. Oh, that's nice. Um, so they're out here year-round. There's such nice trees for them, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Siren, do you want to show them your happy birthday song? <laughs> can you sing happy birthday? <laughs> birthday! Yeah. <laughs> she used to sing the song, now she just says birthday. birthday. That's the same because Ari, my bird Ari, he, he can say it's his name, yeah. which is his favorite thing to say. Uh -huh. lately, he's like a Pokemon. Yeah, lately he's been shortening it to R, uh -huh. so he just all day goes R. R. <laughs> so funny. Can you sing happy birthday? Mm. Birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah. I like her version. It's quick to the point. It's good. Doesn't it's waste anyone's time. Okay. I don't. Let's see. This doesn't R. always work, but because you guys are parrot R. people, I'm going to do it. Sometimes he hits you with the one, two, though. He'll go like R. 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 Re. <laughs> yeah. Be crying. Um, so we tried to teach Siren a sea shanty, like the really low one. Yeah. But she only knows the lyrics to Happy Birthday, so she's adapted it to a birthday shanty. Will you sing your birthday shanty? Oh. Hello. It's always when you want them to do something too that they mm -hmm. want, so mm -hmm. brace yourselves for nothing happening. Can you say birthday? She's feeling it. Yeah, she's getting the vibe. You got a whistle. Started. No. Yo. That's it. It's all you got. <laughs> good job, Siren. That was very good. That was very nice. That was amazing singing. I like replacing the lyrics to any song with happy birthday. <laughs> it makes it so much happier. It sends yeah. the message. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! More people should adopt that version. What is going on with the mic? You wanted to swap it? They keep getting way too danked. I don't know what's happening. They're like, the mics are just peeking randomly. Always be.
they yeah. are perfectly capable of flight. Mm -hmm. Chico dancing! That's fun! <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah! Yes. Chico! Yeah! <laughs> Good friend! So yeah, they're going like small jumps right now with these little perches and we'll spread them out and then um, bring them up to that. We'll bring them up to that big building up there and they'll be longer flights, hopefully. Good for them. It's also a little scary to be honest. Yeah. Making them flight capable because like imagine you walk in Yeah, you give them so much more power. <laughs> but we think it'll be good for them. Also, yeah, of course. You saw Tico jam it. Sorry, we're we're changing the mic situation right now, so it stops happening. Birthday! <laughs> Happy birthday! <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Hello. 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 And they have yeah. live cam. All the enclosures have live cams in them. This yeah. one has a mic on it though, so they get to hear them talk all day. They say mm. some crazy shit. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> cool. Cool. Yeah, it's really cool. <laughs> does, does mine work? Do you want to hold it for now? I think yours does work. Are we switching the shotgun? We are on this one right now. Oh, cool. Right. Should I turn these off? For no, leave them all on. Leave them all on. All right, cool. Does that sound better? Does this sound better, chat? What are we? Hello. Hello. There's a few that took us for now. There's a few that's recording into the room. They say yes. Quiet. Sure. We don't even need these. Right now, right? It's fine. It's fine. Alright. Yeah. Alright. You guys want to meet some other birds? Yes. yes. That There's are not parrots? Birds. There are so many more birds. <laughs> Goodbye, friends. So many more birds. Oh, you need birds. Stand by. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Alright. Couple family members who have just farmland, they do have backyard chickens. <laughs> Not anymore. I've grown past my chicken fear. This is Oliver and Nugget and Henrique. Do you guys want to feed them? Yes. Yeah. I'll feed any. These are mealworms. Oh, okay. Okay. Dried mealworms. They can be a little bit pinchy. It doesn't like hurt, but you know, they have beaks. So, yeah. Yeah. That's Nugget, that's Henrique, Oliver. Henrique's a good one. Yeah, she's a good chicken. Yeah. Oliver. Yeah. What a big guy. Oh, wow. <laughs> Is that Nugget? Yeah. Nugget so we have wants the meal. I was trying to make friends with Oliver. But <laughs> Nugget <laughs> is very food motivated. We have the chickens teach people about the ag industry. So um, food labels and like egg labels. I always tell people to look out for the certified humane label on egg cartons. Mm -hmm. um, pasture raised certified humane is like the only label right now in the U.S. that's like actually pasture raised because gotcha. cage free and free range are just a bunch of loopholes. Yeah, and, um, yeah, cage free is a. They push what that means a lot. They really, yeah, they really do. So that's what the chickens are for, but they're also really fun. They're fun to train. Oliver's played the xylophone. Whoa. Um, they Musicians. can play a little, they have a little drum set. It's really just them pecking it, but it's Dude, sick. They're so talented. They're so talented. I mean, I've never played the drums before, so. They'll fly they sometimes, that. arm to arm. I wonder if they'll do that now, actually. Does anybody, would anybody like to come up here? Oliver, do you want to come up? Do you want to come up? Nuggets? Why did I think you would jump? Nuggets? <laughs> Come up. No. None of them are in the mood. The animals don't perform. They know they get the worms anyway. Yeah, you're gonna have to. Why play. dance for it? You want to meet a really big bird? Absolutely. I love, I love big, big birds. Bird. The more bird, the better. All right. I like these guys. Follow me. Chickens. 
Yeah, chickens are pretty chill. Nuggets are pretty chill. I'd be open to having this chickens one day. Connect, I feel like Nuggets are a bit of a spotlight stealer. <laughs> yeah. The vibe I got. She's Big a diva. very confident lady. Super diva. <laughs> Hungry diva. Hungry diva, but that's that's those are the ones that that pop off. Okay, I don't see the bird, but you can't miss. It. Oh, I think we saw him when we came in. Did you? Yeah. Don't be the one spoiler we had. Oh, I see it. I see it. What is this? What does this guy do? Zombies? On a day-to-day -day basis. Like <laughs> walks around, he checks the air. Stompy. Oh yeah. We love Stompy. Stompy was the first ambassador we got. Um, he's from a zoo in California as well. His mom didn't sit on the eggs that they had. No. Uh, so he was incubated and then shipped here. Big bird! Hi, chicken! Stompy loves the rain. He loves water. Oh. Aww. Hello! What a little How wet dog. You? Look at his hair. <laughs> he's nice. You guys want to pet him? Yes. Normally he doesn't feel like this. He's all <laughs> wet. <laughs> wow, he just feels like a dog. Yeah. This poor dog guy. <laughs> Stompy is blue skin face. Yeah, he's so cool. This is an emu. I, didn't say, I don't know if you guys knew that. Mm -hmm. um, an emu is an Australian bird. Um, and he likes hugs. Look. Can I have a hug? Aww. Aww. That's so cute. Yeah. Stompy's a little bit weird. Yeah, he has only been raised by people. Mm -hmm. So I got him when he was like 14 days old. Oh my god. How um, big was he? Watermelon. Oh. His hatch day is Valentine's Day, so he's he's coming up on his oh. birthday. Oh, lover boy! Happy birthday! birthday. You guys want to give him a hug? I would yes. love to. I dropped a carrot. I dropped a carrot. Um, you kind of just How go you in, initiate? and then I'll help guide his head on top of your shoulder. Okay. Stumpy, can you give Jaden a hug, please? Here. I'll, I'll that's nice. Oh, that's nice, oh, Stumpy. Buddy. <laughs> oh. Just looking in the camera. <laughs> <laughs> another video. Another person wants to hug you. Oh, like a, hug. a little taller. <laughs> do I crouch down for him? Here you go. Say oh, hello, buddy. Oh. <laughs> oh, friend. I think this is the most intimidating animal we have. <laughs> oh, I think he's awesome. Because he looks crazy. It's I love so his weird. feet, though. You love Little dinosaur like toes. The, Check out his wings. The dinosaur Oh, tracks. my goodness. <laughs> the wings? Stop it. Where Jacob? are you going? What the hell? <laughs> I tripped. Oh, how embarrassing. <laughs> Where are you going? Oh, we, okay, you got that right. We all saw that. <laughs> Yeah, we saw that, Stompy. Um, oh he's no. out of here. Okay, there's a donkey down there. Donkey. I just noticed. I... You guys want to come meet? Oh, two donkeys. Do they hang out? The donkeys? With, oh, with Stompy. With Stompy? Um, Stompy comes out with a horse. Uh, not a donkey. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. Does he see himself as a horse? Do you think? I don't think so. I think they're going to have to see him before. I think it'd be a beautiful tale if he did. Yeah. Hold your thumb close to okay. your hand. You know, fingers are carrot, baby carrot shaped, so. <laughs> oh, he's got a quick deer. Um, and they're real shy, so you might need to let them come up to you. Um, Serrano is much more carrot. confident. The brown one. I'll take Serrano. Hello, buddy. Oh, purple. He's got purple. Feet. Oh, yeah, it's a um, antibiotic ointment. Oh. Anything special For you. I do here? Brave. <laughs> there we go. Jalapeno, you, you want to? A little purple guy. I'm sorry. <laughs> You can have this one if you like. <laughs> you want carrot? Come here. Come on. Aww. Aww. <laughs> so much lip. <laughs> There's a um, lot of lip on that. Yeah. These two, here I'll give you more. These two were rescued from um, a feedlot. Here you go. Um, so they were going to be sold, the very, very lucky ones, the few lucky ones as pets. Um, but most of the time for like cat kibble, dog kibble. Oh no, I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> oh, uh, it's just not going right. Oh, no. <laughs> um, or glue, 
or your <laughs> traditional medicine. Oh. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I like how so Stompy they, just kind of lurks. He's like, don't forget about me over here. here. <laughs> so they, they'll boil donkey hides and make it into a gelatin um, for traditional Chinese medicine. It's super... Oh, it's so brave. No, Mouth. I don't have any more. I'm sorry. <laughs> Mouth. Um, so that's why we have the donkeys. You want another one? So guys, or people watching anyway, um, when you're getting even over-the-counter medicine products, uh, check for animal products. A lot more of them have animal products in them. I've lately heard about the fake vegan yum, yum. logo on things. Oh, I haven't heard about that. Uh, I just saw a reel about it. It was like, touch. there's only one specific, yeah. like, uh, no animal testing vegan logo, yeah. but some oh, manufacturers... Oh, like cosmetics or something? Yeah, some manufacturers have been putting fake ones that don't mean anything. <gasps> Drama. Yeah. That's the problem with fads, even if they have good intent, people just use, like, people just find loopholes for them. Yeah, it's like, oh, they put test animals and then put a fake logo on it. Come with me. Oh. Baby cow. Like oh, I love cows. I'm glad you like Stompy. He is... He is easily one of my favorite too. Winnie the Moose! Winnie! Wow, she's beautiful. Does she just stand? Yeah, so many women here. Yeah, we do. A lot of beautiful ladies. Winnie the Moose! This is Winnie. She'll have us come to her. <laughs> you can pet her. For some she's reason, she was so much smaller from so much further away. <laughs> She got like exponentially <laughs> bigger the closer I got. She's pretty big. This is a red Angus beef cow. Um, so I got her I off of a coat. beef operation in Oklahoma. So she Aww. would have been slaughtered for beef. Red I Angus, black Angus, Angus beef in grocery stores. Aww. Um, so a survivor, Winnie. Oh, a shoe. She is a survivor. It's, it's amazing. Um, for Winnie, we teach people about the beef industry. Mm -hmm. She burps and farts a greenhouse gas. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Cows, you know, with methane. Yeah. Um, and so the beef demand is so high that we have so many cows are producing a ton of methane. Um, and it's a huge oh, contributor cool. to climate change. So yeah. I don't tell people to go vegan, but I do generally um, recommend that they eat less beef. Yeah. It's probably the most green thing you could do. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I personally actually don't eat too much red meat. Mm -hmm. Or I try not to eat red meat at all, actually. But Jaden is a... Uh, you've, you've been... Uh, I've been vegan, vegetarian for like seven years. Yeah. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, poultry, chicken has way, way, way lower emissions than beef. So if you still want to eat animal products, but you want to cut down on your environmental impact, that's a place to start. That's but what I tell it's also better for least. you. Yeah. But generally, you know, the more you can cut down on animal products, the better. Both for animal welfare and the environment. Do you guys want to brush her? Yes. I want to do everything possible. Yeah. I just like watching Stompy in the distance. I'm so intrigued. <laughs> he's always just a little, just around. I, I just feel like he's always up to his own little side adventures. <laughs> That's just the vibe I get. Yeah. Because, like, I feel like horse, donkey, cow are, like, so much more grouped together. Mm -hmm. He's just kind of like a fish out of water and has a, has a whole story to tell. He's got things to explore. He's got the world to see. I think Stompy's my favorite guy. Okay. Winnie likes being brushed under her neck like right here and you really gotta like oh what a cool brush like, get in there <laughs> oh there <you> so <laughs> she's ready <laughs> she looks like she's just happy to enjoy it oh wow she oh, really I see her. Like she's oh, enjoying God. it <laughs> what a beautiful smile Winnie, it's an honor teeth. teeth check out these teeth <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> here i'll get the other side you get the other side Yay, happy baby cow. Oh, she's amazing. Oh, I love cows so much. <laughs> They're so cute. They have so much personality. She's yeah. so funny. And she's smart. She knows her name. She comes to a cowbell. Thank you. She loves rain. She loves burping. That's what she does. <laughs> Don't we all? Friend. Baby cow. What's like the silly activity Stompy would do? <laughs> That's Stompy's pool and cabana. <laughs> what a what a guy. I love how much you love Stompy. I'm he just fascinated. <laughs> we just get an emu. We'll get an emu. Where is he? Stompy! I think he's over there. He's living his own like little side character life. I 
Because he's yeah. acting like he's he's in place. He's one of them. He's one of the guys. When he is. He's one of the guys. When he's like, what's up, my horses? When Eat less beef. He's like, let's Smile. go hang out, horses. <laughs> We have a cat who is like very convinced that he's just a guy. Yeah. Like doesn't want to, doesn't want pets, doesn't want cuddles. Like he just wants attention. And if we're sitting at the di like the dining room table, yeah. Uh, he sits in a chair and like and sits up like a, like a guy. <laughs> Dude, yeah. 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 So he's very man like, and that's the vibe I get. I feel like, uh, Stompy I feel like Stompy just, just thinks he's just like one of the horses. You know? Yeah. Yeah, I don't he think does, he knows what he looks like. He does chill with the no, yeah. I don't know what imagine like a floor length mirror. Yeah. I don't know what he would do with that. I think he would enjoy it. Alright. You guys wanna meet the monkeys? 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 The monkeys! Dude, you've got it all here. We've got it all! We just keep going through all the animals. By Stompy. By Stompy. Stompy. Is Stompy your favorite? I think so. Really? <laughs> I think my tier list. I think it's really, uh, hmm. <laughs> it is growing. Toast. It is stompy for sure. Yeah. I think I like Georgie more than Toast, but Toast is, oh. is up there. Yeah, you just keep, I just think it's so funny how you keep going back to stompy. I think that Toast, but he's really high up there. I just like watching him because I felt like I, I understood him through his actions. <laughs> he's, he's, Demeanor spoke more than any word for code. So <laughs> Alright. So we'll walk up this way. It should be less muddy from here on out. So we have two monkeys, but they're very small. Um, they're like squirrel size. Oh, that, that is kind of cool. Yeah. Nice. They're marmosets. I like monkeys. That is your pretty cool thing. They, they are you still, are you still yeah. under a monkey yeah. hater shit? I, I'm not like a monkey hater, but it's like, they're just a little too close. They hit a little too close to home. Oh yeah, you know? the uncanny valley for you. Yeah, I just feel like they're they're one step away from being humans, and they're way stronger yeah, than humans. Yeah, that's how evolution yeah. works. But like, they're so much stronger <laughs> and more capable. They are strong. I would not go larger than the ones we have just because of liability. Oh no. Speaking of which. Oh, hey buddy. This is Beetle. Beetle? Um, is it your spotlight time? This is Beetle's face. Can you call the goats? Can we put the goats up? She can be a little rabbit. Oh, a little okay. feral. I see more. Do they just hang around? Yeah, I have five. Um, and three of them are not a problem and two of them are. She's a problem. Like She's one of them. A problem child. You hear that? Oh, go. Go, go, go. Where they go? Hey. Go. <laughs> oh, that one's, I like Wait, the horns on that one. That's not me, it's him. Trip, go. <laughs> She's nice. Go on. Oh, that was cute. Oh, I like when the horns go like curly. <laughs> anyway, those are goats. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Thank you! Um, okay, yeah, monkeys are scary. I wouldn't go bigger than squirrel sized monkeys because yeah. of reliability, because they're so, so scary and so strong. Yeah. Um, my dad had a monkey. Oh my god. Really? It was just like, it never works. His dad, was, it, you know, it's the olden days. Yeah. Like hand me down monkey? He was, his dad used to do like horse jockey stuff. And one time at a, a horse show, someone, some guy was just selling monkeys. Oh god. And he was like, my son would love this. So he bought a monkey and just like took it home. And he's like, I've never asked for a monkey before. Nightmare. Also, like, what year was this? It was like, Early 1900s. I need a key. Hold on. Yeah. Alright. Not early. It was like, when was it born? Like 1960s? Yeah, it's like early. <laughs> it's not that old. What do you think so far? I'm stompy. Stompy. I don't know, just he called me. He is awesome. It is a nice day, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 
No rush. Okay. Alright. So, the monkeys we got from a neglect case in Austin. So someone bought them as a pet and then didn't know how to take care of them. Uh, so they had a bunch of medical issues. Um, they had metabolic bone disease and dental disease. because they were only ever inside. Oh. Uh, so, we got them from that, rehabilitated them, and this is their first time with an outdoor enclosure. Oh, happy for them. Yeah. So, they do really good. Uh-oh, I'm getting uh-ohs in chat. What? I know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's going on today. <laughs> I'm good. Okay, I've, I've been good all day. I don't know how. The man, Mike. <laughs> Come out here. Surprise, monkey. That was so fun. Whoa, that is tiny. Whoa. That's not oh, even like a thing I've seen before. <laughs> oh my god, the face is tiny. That's Momo. That's like the same. Momo. Hey, oh. Momo. Like yeah. Avatar. He's a black tufted marmoset. His hairs don't always stick out straight like that. A, <laughs> He's straightened it. For you guys. <laughs> Appa! Momo and Appa? Yeah. Appa! No, you stay there. It's okay. <laughs> oh, oh my god, god. you scared me. <laughs> I feel like I saw him <laughs> from behind. Scared, but... He's like, Hi, buddy. Oh, what a so beautiful pretty. Little, little pattern so you got. Appa. What do you do? Yeah, so you can't curious. really touch him. He looks um, so wise. Uh, yeah, it looks a puppy. Oh my gosh. Poor <laughs> guy. Okay, I can get behind this one. He's cool, huh? This um, guy's awesome. Yeah, so this is a common marmoset. Uh, Momo's black tufted. Or this is also called a white tufted. Because mm -hmm. the tufts, yeah. Um, wow. This one, when we got him, had almost no use of his back legs because oh, of wow. his metabolic bone disease. Um, so he's got. Can you, like, not hide so they can see? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> He's putting on Come a show. Do you want to see chat? Do it's a big screens? reveal. Don't we all, have buddy? They played, Don't we all have screens? Up? Has he played little iPad games before? They have an iPad, yeah. <gasps> awesome. uh, they're iPad kids. They're That's iPad so babies. Cool. They love Magic School Bus and Trash Oh Trump. my gosh. Yeah. This is, okay, this is, I like this guy. They're cool. They make terrible pets, though. I um, believe it. Yeah, they're... They're seed dispersers, so in the wild they're meant to eat a bunch of fruits and mm. swing around and shit. Whoa! Oh, he loves the cameraman. So he the <laughs> I like how he has like a mustache. Yeah, their didn't faces know he could are like rip on that on the top, the door frame. It's really good at climbing. Their faces are so small, but there's so much going on. You know, so much expression. Hi, little man. I love how puffy the tail is. Yeah, their tails aren't prehensile, so they can't grip things with them. But they're really good for balance. Uh, so the seed so disperse in the wild. They'll eat a bunch of fruit, swing around, shit everywhere, and it helps with forestry growth, mm -hmm. um, which is great for forests, but terrible for your house. Um, yeah. And then it's just terrible for their welfare to be inside. You know, they like the elements and the sunshine. He really wants a camera. <laughs> He's inching towards the camera. He's a star. Papa, no. never had them watch that show. I think they would enjoy it. They I think it would make it. them feel powerful. What Let's iPad games do they play? They actually, they haven't played a game. I don't know if I've given them like Fruit Ninja, maybe. Uh, um, yeah. But I don't think they've really played games. They just watch them. My one <laughs> thing we gave our cat, our tiny little baby cat, she's an nice. iPad oh. baby. Oh. But <laughs> there was just a game she plays that's just oh a nice. lake oh, and she just know. taps fish and that's Hi, it. Uh huh. Yeah. They might be able to do that. Little man. Little man, Appa. He is tiny. He is I have never little. seen a creature's face so human-like, okay, but so small. Platform and you can kind of roll him off onto there. there he go. does better with women. I would put him on you, but I don't fully trust him. So. <laughs> Ladies, man. Oh. 
If he goes on you, he's he watching. <laughs> he looks. He, he, look, like, he thought about it. He's no. like, no. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a no. <laughs> when he puts his little like tufts back and mm -hmm. squints. I see. I yeah. I'm just standing here. <laughs> oh. Yeah, because oh, I've been known to radiate masculine energy. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this guy. That yeah, is guy. Momo is missing more than half of his teeth. They've all oh. had to get removed because they rotted out. Because um, his diet was so bad what before he face? came here. Um, but yeah, he's really cool. They're both Brazilian, uh, so they have heating and cooling in there. Um, climate control, because they're not meant to live in Texas. But Texas. Yeah, so these guys, primarily to teach people about the pet trade. Um, and the exploitation of, of monkeys in the pet trade. He is playing with that camera. I wish we could, he likes a could show it. He <laughs> craves the iPad. He's a cameraman. He's a videographer. Here oh, that's... So, I've never thought about doing that. That's so smart. What is it? I always just tell people, like, you can't see him because he's on the camera. But yeah, there he is. <laughs> he was playing with the camera a second ago. Oh, oh. Oh, oh he wants to see oh. the screen. Oh, okay. <laughs> he's like, who's this guy? Who's this other monkey? <laughs> Where do where do you go? Is he still on me? He still is. <laughs> He's on your back. You can uh, go to that platform over there, and then but I want to show kinda, my like, phone. roll that. <laughs> <laughs> roll, yeah, and then you can show up your phone. <laughs> do you want? Oh, well. <laughs> Who's the monkey think? in the screen? Hi, Safa. Yeah. He's so some curious. Good pictures. Nice, guys. This is a real, uh, you got games on your phone picture. <laughs> Big jumps. <laughs> That's a good one. That's cute. You're cute. Aww. Aww. Yeah, they're, they're super monkeys. cute. Yeah, they're pretty cute. I like cool. the monkeys a lot. Alright. And you probably heard them while we were in this enclosure. We're gonna go to the crow enclosure <gasps> next. Oh my god, I love crows. Sometimes they're weird. They're like very... <laughs> cautious so they don't like to monitor on this camera it's relatively new mm. so sometimes they don't come down at all we'll go in there and see what they do but gotcha i promise they'll be super interactive it's my dream to move somewhere and just like be friends with the crows nearby crows, crows are, are very, so cool very cool very very smart yeah. um, yes the crows so the crows are some of our only ambassadors that were born in the wild. Most mm -hmm. of them were born in captivity for the pet trade or something. These guys were born here, um, blown out of their nest by a storm, and then raised by people. So they imprinted on people. Mm -hmm. Oh. So they don't know how to take care of themselves. They tried to release the one that you're hearing right now. Mm -hmm. And he ended up at a park a couple miles away, no. landing on people, like screaming for food. <laughs> like random people, just oh, yeah. landing on their heads. Uh, have it. We're gonna come say hi, okay? All right. Can you come be interactive and nice? He's got this place all to himself. There's two crows um, in here. Abbott and Coconut. Okay, I have friends. Hello, buddy. Oh. Uh, I'm your biggest fan. I'm such a huge Raven fan. Okay, that's Coconut. Nice. And this is Abbott. Can so you come down? <laughs> Platform. Okay, you ready? Here you go. Abbott! Come on! He's thinking. He's thinking. <laughs> Thank you, Coconut. We're aware that you're unhappy. Oh, wow. That's cool. Good cat. Yeah, you want to throw something? Yeah. It's cat well, Here comes so him. Smart. Good job, I'd like to run the general direction, or? Uh, yeah, I mean, get it as close to them as you can, but... Oh. Okay. <laughs> Let me... Here, Jerry, you want to try? Yeah. I'm just kind of striking you that. You can go to yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> wait, wait, I got the shot. That's a far shot. Oh. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> the side. Here. Oh, no. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Are you going to kill this? Jealous of all the treats. Good catch. Abbott, you want to come down to the platform? <laughs> throw? Where do we get throw over here? There you go. <laughs> no, too much. Too scary. Anyway. It's scary, I know. Yeah, the crows are just really sensitive. So, like, anything new. But Abbott normally 
Abbott has rings, so he'll stack rings. Uh, they Aww. do lots of puzzle feeders. They'll fly arm to arm when they're not scared. Abbott will fly arm to arm when he's not scared. Oh, oh they're so scruffy. Great. Good job! Aww. Yeah. Honestly, it's kind of crazy. He's super shy. He's mm -hmm. usually way better around people, so I'm shocked that he can then he didn't. <laughs> Alright, well. They're all his so. <laughs> They're really cool looking guys, too. They seem more interested in coming down, but. Good for them. Alright, we have one more encounter. Oh, one more. And that's it. Is there like, um. A special vet that you take them to nearby? Yeah, yeah, we have an exotic vet. Mm. Do they care for like all the animals or like only sections? Yeah, all of them. So they'll come out um, and do annuals here. Mm. Oh, uh, that makes sense. Which is so nice. Yeah. Because yeah. imagine like trying to <laughs> load them all up into a truck and take yeah, them into get a vet. The, the cow. Here? Oh, tortoise enclosure. Oh, that makes tortoise. sense. Yeah. Um, so she's actually, she's only 12 inches long right now, but she's getting a really large enclosure because she'll be 100 pounds. We're getting oh. a sulcata. Good for um, them. Yeah, I'm stoked. It'll be really cool. Uh, a friend of mine back in Arizona had had a tortoise. Her name was Daisy, Cute. and she would come with being tall. Hi, Daisy. Whoa, look at these guys. This is a fox enclosure. Um, Cutie and her community is not this one. Oh. Hi. What does that entail? Um, she did a fundraiser and um, raised money to the enclosure, and then we built it. So she got a little fox on here. She's her little fox. Ben, are you excited? Finn is very brave and down to interact with me. He's a little <laughs> more shy. Um, I don't know if you got a whiff of it yet. Foxes are real stinky. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, they're really like musky and kind of skunky. So, I'll tell you how we got these guys. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> How'd you get in here? Thank you for your first. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Um, so, two foxes, they're both American red foxes. He is gray though. Kind of like Patchy, uh, he was bred for color for the pet trade. Mm. So, Finn was confiscated from the illegal pet trade in California by California Department of Fish and Wildlife. Um, oh. and so he was bred to be a pet, someone had him and then realized that they couldn't. Yeah. Here's some treats for him. Um, Oh, what an eager social guy. Yeah. Finn, she's got treats. You want some? Yum. Oh. Hey, um, so for them, we teach people about both the pet trade and the fur trade. Because um, foxes are really popular in furs, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sorry, and then Reed over one. there. Good deer. Good deer. Reed will stay over there. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's real. I'm just kind of watching. Um... Reed is more like what you think of with a wild fox. He was born in the wild central coast of California, mm -hmm. um, but he was orphaned as a baby. Are you being so brave? Hold on. <laughs> you guys can stay here. I'm gonna Big see brain. if he wants to. Reed. Reed. He wants. No. Really scared. Um, okay. So Reed was born in the wild and was raised by people. So kind of similar to the crow situation. Mm-hmm. You want to treat? Chicken. <laughs> Yum. You want some, the fox ASMR? ASMR is a little yuck. Oh. Sloppier. Yum. <laughs> Good job, buddy. He's so nervous yet so excited. I know, they act nothing like dogs. Um, I'm just kind of watching him walk around in circles. Yeah, we won't stay in here for too long because he's he Get nervous. paces when he's anxious. Oh, yeah. poor thing. He's precious but sad. Do you want to give Finn a little more? I will. Okay. So these two were both from a zoo in California. Mm -hmm. They were in a five by ten together out there, um, which is, you know, one of me by two of me. Wow. Mm -hmm. um, and we have this enclosure. They got trees in here. They have an inside space. They have AC and heating as well. Um, oh. And they get to dig now, and like they mm -hmm. get rain, and um, when it gets cold, and yeah. How much does it normally cost to like build an enclosure like this with the inside and the outside? This one's expensive because it's custom and it's steel. This was forty-eight grand. Wow. Um, but like, we have enclosures that what the the crows we were in was like 
twelve, I think. Gotcha. Um, so they range quite a bit, depending on the material. All things considered, it's, it's much smaller amount than I thought. I mean, it's like a lot of money, but yeah. Sure we also for the boxes we have to bury wire and like um, mm -hmm. pour concrete because they dig. Oh yeah. That you makes are sense. so motivated today. Can you say? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Can you say? Good job. Wow. Yeah, so they don't, you saw, they don't really like being pet, like dogs do, um, but some of the training that we do with them, the training that we do with all the animals is for husbandry and for their care, mm -hmm. so for him, we can touch him, sit, sit, I touch, um, just so we can check on them or do, mm -hmm. like, voluntary injections and stuff. Sometimes he's okay with a little bit of scritching, but not like a dog is. Yeah. He's so active. <laughs> wow. So cute. <laughs> That's the foxes. Cat software, dog hardware. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people ask yeah. if it's like a canine or a few, and they are canines. Uh, just very cat-like. Yeah. Okay. He's so fluffy. Yeah. Um, foxes also scent posts, so anything... Nice, thank you for showing them. <laughs> anything new you put in the enclosure, they'll piss on, shit on. Mm -hmm. um, just marking everything. Yeah. And then they obviously smell terrible. You can't really... You can tell kind of, but it's in, this is like outside. Mm -hmm. um, inside, it's gnarly. I drove to get them in California mm -hmm. in a, like a minivan, and the, way the back car is. <laughs> for like three days on the way back uh, was outrageous. Where did you stay? Um, where did I stay? I had I had family in Arizona, mm -hmm. so I stayed there, and then I camped in uh, New Mexico. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, so they stayed in the car and I slept in a tent. <laughs> But yeah, you can't bring them to like a hotel. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was asking. You'd be like, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, I struggled just driving across the country with cats, so I was like, I don't even yeah. know what you did. Yeah, it can be tough. Here you go. Last chicken. Yum. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy, too. His face looks so different. I know yeah. you don't mm -hmm. see... Good job. <laughs> I it's know you don't round. see. Yeah, they get shorter snouts. Yeah. When people breed foxes as pets, they want them to be like a bunch of different colors, and they want shorter snouts, and they want like floppy ears, and they want spots, and they want them to not be afraid of. You're being such a good teacher today, like right if now. If you told me that this was a dog, <laughs> I'd believe you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they just start looking more and more like dogs. It's like a, a little husky. Yeah, I'd say he's mm -hmm. like kind of a weird looking dog, but I'd go, okay, I'm surely not qualified enough to doubt you. It's like, there's probably <laughs> just like a mix of things in there. Yeah, what do I know? Right. It's just kind of, at the end of the day, it's just like, get a dog, you know? Mm -hmm. They just want them to be dogs. Yeah. So, just get a dog. Not the fox. Those are the foxes. We're going to get out because we just... <laughs> Poor guy. That's a freak out. <laughs> Please leave. Please. <laughs> yeah, before we started, remember how I was saying uh, I think some of our animals could not be at a normal zoo? Mm -hmm. I don't think Reed could be at a normal zoo. You're gonna turn it? Okay, that works too. No, I just step on it. I got it. Um, oh, man, strange. So if you guys aren't normally on the stream, people watching, uh, I don't think Reed could be at a normal zoo where people are walking by his enclosure. That's where I live, back there. Oh! Um, where people are walking by his enclosure because he's so anxious. But we have live cams in all the enclosures, so you can watch them all day long, and then we do programs like this so you can learn about them. Um, and that way, it's pretty non-intrusive. Uh, these programs only happen usually like once a month or a couple times a month. Uh, so for the most part, Reed just gets to chill and he sees his normal keepers every day. Um, and that's it. And otherwise he gets to be real peaceful, but still teach thousands of people. So it's a good setup for him. Um, and the crows. The crows would be miserable at a zoo. <laughs> they would just like... Chad, does the Jacob know there's a stompy plushie? Oh yeah. There's a stompy plushie? There is a stomp. We have Stompy, Georgie, Siren, the Prince of the Amazon, and Winnie, the cow. Wait, that's awesome. Yeah, I think so. Look, they're just looking. I want a stompy plushie. <laughs> what are you going to sell a stompy plushie? The crows! Maya, hypothetically, where would I buy these plushies? <laughs> Um, chat, you want to link it? It's YouTube's plushie. Cool. Um, so you can get them off of our website. I would, if, I wish I had a bunch. I only have one. <laughs> Otherwise, I would give it to you. <laughs> I'm letting you show. Um, but yeah, on That's our so website, good. there's a, a link to all the plushies. Chat, you can get a plushie if you want one. There's the alley-oop. <laughs> nice. 
Thank you. <laughs> if you love these animals, you can have one of your own. And you're right. But if you Maya hate animals, animals, you don't have to get one. <laughs> slash Maya slash animals. If you hate them, you can just ignore the link. You don't yeah. have to support them. That's true. If you hate the animals, that's fine. Just keep scrolling. If you hate the animals, get a plush and like punch it or something. I don't know about generalizing zoos and how they take care of animals. Uh, that's not what I mean. I just mean the nature of zoos being open to the public and having new people walk around their enclosures all the time. Yeah, he just looked like a little anxious guy. Yeah, nothing about the care. Uh, just the open to the public aspect. Because we are not open to the public. Uh, if I was a scared animal, I would hate children. I would, yeah, same. I already do not like them too much. Yeah, same. I love not... Before this, I was doing outreach at zoos, so I'd go out to like birthday parties and stuff with the snakes and like the safari outfit and teach kids. And they would come up to my animals and like pull on them, you know, Ooh. poke them. And I was, I'm so glad I don't have to teach kids anymore besides y'all. Yeah. But you can't touch the animals, so it's fine. And you got this? Did you, did the house, was that on the land or did you build the house? These three buildings are here mm -hmm. and these, this barn is here. Gotcha. And everything else has been built since I bought it. How much land is it all together? Uh, 15 acres. Oh wow. wow. Yeah, which is enough. Yeah, so you have a lot more room to grow. Yeah, the plan is just rescue animals as they come here. Yeah. Do you have yeah. a, any idea of what's, what's next? What are you looking for? Um, uh, we have the tortoise, and then we're doing a jumping spider. Jumping spider, that's, that's um, what my friend Pepsi has. Yeah, and then I want to do a uh, Chinese mantis. Ooh. And I don't know what else, animal wise. You guys want to come over here? Okay. We can, we can I didn't know if you were allowed back. Yeah, you're allowed. You're so welcome. <laughs> you're so oh. welcome. Um. We'll take the go go gadget. Take the go go gadget twitch chat off. <laughs> yeah, you can. It does get cut off, but I guess. Um, if you guys, I know these mics are annoying, but we can end in here if you want to just slide these back on. Okay. Um, and we'll swap. Oh, yeah, these are the plushies. Stompy. The, okay. The stompy. This is what Stompy looked like as a baby. It's a baby Stompy plushie. Baby. All Stompies are good Stompies. He to had me. stripes. And then Winnie and Georgie. And then. Oh, wait a second. Huge news. Oh. I have oh. two. <laughs> Stompies. For you. <laughs> and Siren. That's awesome. You got a Stompy. I got a, we got a Stompy. Hooray! <laughs> His neck's a little His fucked up. His neck is like. Because. Oh. We played dodgeball with him, and so we were no. we were like holding him like this and flinging no. him. No, they don't know how to handle Stompy. So his neck is broken. <laughs> Just... I'm sorry. We'll take him in. I'm we'll sorry. We'll nurture him. He will be an ambassador of how to treat plushes, right? <laughs> there we go. That's yeah. A yeah. Well, that's the tour. That's Thank it. you for having us. That was awesome. Yeah, I was this so was a glad. Great day. I've never been able to meet so many animals and yeah. get so attached to them. Yeah, our we flight is in like a few hours, so this was yeah. perfect. Yeah. Perfect timing. <laughs> it's time to get out of here. Guys, everybody say thank you to Jaden and Jacob for coming. So cool. Amazing collab on my channel. Very fun. Um, it's Friday, so I will see you guys tomorrow for volunteer day when we keep building out the tortoise enclosure. Thank you guys if you donated today and if you subbed today. I know I didn't really call them out. I appreciate them and thank you guys for coming thank you for having thank us. you for having us this, this was one awesome. of the best days the best day i've ever had in texas <laughs> yeah. easily yeah that's huge that's yeah huge. high bar i represent the best of texas you do you truly do goodbye everybody we're gonna raid alvea so you guys can watch the live cams and watch what the animals do all day when we're not in there they have secrets <laughs>